啊，棒啊，棒棒。I love this music. I love this game. It's one of the best games I've played. It's so good. It's just so good. It won, by the way. You remember a while ago I gave you the choice between, uh, I think it was this, Defense Grid, and Train Simulator, because I needed a nice chilled out game before we get stuck into all of the, the Christmas madness where there is so much scary and so much funny that you will die. You will die, because I did. I did. I've already recorded quite a lot of it, so I'm, I can't wait till Christmas. Anyway, we don't need to talk about that. For those of you who don't know, um, I've got my own log channel called Storpy Logs, and in that I film myself in the bath. I know, I know, in the bath. Go and watch it. Um, but what I did was I wanted to, oh, I wanted you guys to choose or to be on my crew in this wonderful game. Right. Anyway. So this is Faster Than Light. It's a wonderful little space game made by um, two people. And it was greenlighted on Steam and it's an indie game. It's, it's superb, like it's really good. This isn't going to be a tutorial as such, but I will help you understand what the hell is going on. Basically here is where I choose my ship before I go on my adventure by clicking on start. I'm going to change it to easy because I've still never completed the game. I've come close, but I keep playing on normal. Um, Usually. I've played on easy a couple of times, but I normally play on normal and it's really hard, so for now, until I get better ships, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with easy. First of all I need to give a quick shout out to everyone who submitted video responses of themselves in the bath um, to try and be on my crew. So these these are my three people, okay? These are who you are gonna be. So I've well first of all, I've gotta change this to a man and I've gotta call him Mac, haven't I? Because there you go. So that will be oh, that will be Mac, and he's going to go in my weapons room. He's going to be the weapons officer. But we'll explain that later. Right? Yeah. Quick shout out to everyone else who who entered. Um, we had in the order that they're on my video response page. We have Sparrow Mella, we have Willadrew, we have Lazy Sniper ZZ, which is Thomas. Thomas. We have um, XSS. We have Emma Kate, we have Wayne Davies, and finally we have Sly. So I've got these, you probably, can you hear these? Yeah. That is all the little bits of paper um, that I'll be picking your names from. I haven't got a hat, so I'm just mixing them up on the table and I'm going to pick them up. Here we go. The first person to be on my ship is, if I can unfold the flipping paper, Thomas, Lazy Sniper ZZ. Right then, customize. Don't worry, I'll make you a boy. Right, we're going to call you Thomas. I hope you don't mind. Um, but it's much easier to say each time that I want to shout at you than Lazy Sniper ZZ. There you go. Nice, Thomas. Now we've got the last one, well, the final one to do. Let's choose, 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 choose. I'm going to choose this piece of paper. And we have Emma Kate. Right. Oh, and you're a girl. Lol. There we go. Oh, look, we've got some uh, gender division on this uh, on this ship. It's not all about the men. And then finally, we need to name our ship, don't we? So... Oh, no, that says Emma Kate. We need to get rid of that. Right. Come on. What are we going to call it? We are going to call it, according to this piece of paper, the <laughs> the XSS. Fantastic. Right. There you go. The XSS. With Mac, Thomas and Emma Kate. Let's let's just get going. Here we go. Story mode time. Oh yeah. I'm going to have a quick drink while you read that. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore each sector before moving up to the next. Up on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. And then there's a tip. Right, anyway, so what that means is, right, if we, if we have a little look at this map, that's where we are, okay, circling around this beacon. There are lots of other beacons all over the, all over the sort of sector of the um, galaxy, and that's our exit to the next sector. 
Um, we've got bits that are in nebulas here, which disrupt all my sensors and make it harder for me to fight if there's only one lurk lurking in those places. And um, but it does slow the rebel fleet down. Now I'm being chased, the reason I'm running through all of these is because I'm being chased by a rebel fleet which appears here in kind of an arc. And if they ever catch up to me it's pretty much game over. So I'd, I'd never want that to happen. And going into a nebula actually slows that down. So anyway, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a bit of a, not a cold, but just a bit of a, a bit of a sniffle and a cough. So I do apologize, you'll just have to get, get used to it. Right, so Mac, straight into the weapons. Now, do we want Thomas to be driving, or do we want Emma to be driving? Well, I mean, women drivers, we're not going to be having any of that. I'm obviously kidding, um, but no, Emma, I think you would do a good job on the shields. Plus, it already looks like Thomas is sat down. Thomas, Thomas, you can be Thomas the Tank Engine, how about that? <coughs> good. So, right, everyone's in places. So, I've got 30 scrap doesn't seem worth going to the store because I don't have anything I can sell and I don't have much money to buy anything anyway so I'm going to jump here. I'm actually going back a little bit, that's a bit risky but don't really care. Oh dear. Once you arrive your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move in to attack. Okay, now the good thing about this game is you hit spacebar and it pauses it for you. I mean, it's just so much better that way. Um, one second. Music's too loud. I think. There you go. Right. So, right, we've got to kill this thing. Okay. It's got one shield, that much hull, it's got weapons, it's got shields. Yeah, it doesn't look too hard. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the missile. I've got eight missiles, I don't want to waste too many of those, actually. How many does this fire? Fires three lasers. Right, I'm going to save my missiles for the ship because it doesn't look too threatening. I'm going to go for... I'm going to shoot its shields down. No, I'm going to shoot its um, weapons down. See how it goes. Stick also fire on and blast away. So that's going to charge up. Come on, Mac. Make me proud. Make every laser count, please. <laughs> Okay, right. That's not a good start. Okay, so their weapons are offline. That's the main thing. So we'll pause it. I'm going to take their shields down now. Um, now, he's hit my oxygen, which sucks. So we're going to get... Uh, no. No, we're going to get Emma to go in there and fix it. Otherwise, everyone's going to start dying. Fire! Oh, yeah. Their shields and their weapons are down. Well, while they're struggling. Let's just hit him in the oxygen. Kick him right in the oxygen. Lol. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Oh yeah. Oh, right now. Emma's finished in there. Come on up. Back to shields with you. See, if you have someone in a room, then it gives a boost to whichever room they're in. So she's boosting the shields. She makes it recharge. Shit, I've not paused. Whew. Right, um... Yeah, she makes the shields recharge faster once they get taken down. Um, he makes the weapons recharge faster and he helps us evade attacks sometimes. And yeah, wonderful. Good job guys. With the pirate ship destroyed, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can from the debris. Superb. Two fuel and 13 scrap. That's not too bad. Didn't have to use any rockets either, so that's... That's a bonus. Right, what I'm going to do, because, look, I haven't got any power left, and I want to, like, I've, I'm not at full capacity in my engines at the moment, so my evade's not as high as it could be. So I'm going to buy a power bar for 20%. <laughs> power bar. Wonderful. Uh, there you go. And then, bam, in it goes. So now, we're a little bit, we're a little bit better. Okay, what am I going to do now? Oh, do I go up there? Because then I might get stuck. And then the fleet's going to come and get me. I'm going to go into the nebula and hide. A black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula before pushing his wares. Shall we ignore the ship or shall we attack the ship? Well, he's he's not packing very much, is he? Look at the... I mean, he's got weapons and shit, but he hasn't got much hull. Yeah, let's just attack the bastard. Right, pause it. Mac, I wish for you to fire upon... Hey, look, see? Our sensors are down because we're in a nebula. Yuck. I wish for you to power upon the weapons system. Get that offline. Alright, let's go, let's fire, let's fire, let's go. I'm going 
gonna kick the shit out of this little this little bitch. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. That's its faster than light drive. That's its engine. It's trying to escape. Okay, well, it's not going to, is it? Because I am going to hit it in the engine. Um, and Emma, go and fix the engines on our ship, please. And freaking be quick about it, because I want you back on the shields. Right, they're not going anywhere. I've knackered their engines. Let's just get their shields, just in case they... Well, there's no point, is there? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're down anyway. They're down anyway. Right, Emma, get back into the shields. Yeah. Good job. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. One fuel, one drone parts, and 17 scrap. I like that. That's good for me. Taking a tiny bit of damage, but it's not too bad. Right, where should we jump to? I don't... Oh, we're going to go up here. That's where we're going to go. Oh, it's Earth, look. Oh no, maybe it's not. You discover one of the Rebels' autonomous scouts. The ship's AI wastes no time in engaging your ship. Alright, so I've got no choice this time. Okay. Well, it's an automatic ship, so it shouldn't be too bad. If I knock something down, like its weapons, fire, Mac. If I knock its weapons down, there's no one in the ship to fix them, so... It's buggered, basically. Yeah! Right, well, it's buggered. Let's let's disable all of its other systems, shall we? Because I think that'd be quite good fun. Lovely. Get its shields, and tell you what. Let's just fire a missile for a laugh. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take that offline. There we go. We don't want to be wasting missiles. I, I shouldn't have wasted that missile. Never mind. Yay! He's down. The ship explodes, leaving behind three fuel, one missile, 19 scrap. Awesome. You're doing a good job, guys. Emma. Good job on the shields, Mac. Good job on the uh, weapons, and Thomas. Good job piloting, my friend. Good job piloting. Ah, shit! Look, here's the rebel fleet starting to come. It's fine. We've got plenty of time. Let's jump to there. What's next? You recognise the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you labourers for cheap. Buy one slave and free them to join your crew for 42 scrap. Attack the slaver scum or ignore the slaver. Well, we're attacking the slaver scum, aren't we? I mean, come on. Right, let's let's do some missiles, shall we? Um, we'll, in fact, no, we'll missile their weapons and we'll burst laser their shields. That's what we're going to do. Once they charge up, come on, Mac. Come on, Mac. Oh, shit. Oh, that was quick. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as a tribute. If you destroy us, they'll die anyway. Well, I will take a slave. Free them off your hands. I will accept your offer. Who have we got? Sophia. Mmm. Report to the captain's quarters, please, Sophia. What? I just want to interview her and make sure she's okay. I know, I'm sorry. Right, let's... Well, what can you do? You're a mantis. Now, mantis... A little insect creatures, so Thomas probably won't like him. Like her, sorry. Uh, Alright then, well, they're good at fighting, so it's kind of good if they're in the middle somewhere, so in case I get boarded, they can go and fight. It doesn't matter. Let's just stick Sophia in the engine room, because Emma's doing a blooming good job on the shields. You know. No, change my mind. Oh, have I? Oh, I hate this game. Yeah. No, Emma, you're going on to engines, it's more important. I mean, any insect can do the shields, but you've actually got to help us evade incoming attacks. I mean, come on. I hope you don't mind, Emma, but it's a promotion, trust me. Right, let's jump. Oh, there's a distress signal. Someone might need help. Have I got time to jump up here first and then down to the distress signal? Yeah, of course I have. Of course I have. 
A nearby space station hails you. Greetings, your arrival is most fortuitous. We recently came across some extra drones. If you have some fuel, perhaps we can make a deal. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't use drones at the moment. Um, it's very kind of you. <coughs> but, yeah. Sorry. Let's go to the next one. Oh shit, I was going to go to the stress, wasn't I? No, oh, I'm too late for that. You arrive at a populated sector. One merchant seems to be mass broadcasting a request for a mercenary ship to aid him. Shall we respond? Yeah, we can be a mercenary ship. Your ship looks uh, seems reasonably equipped. A freighter carrying a shipment of my goods is a week late. The fools through, flew through a pirate-filled sector in their haste, and I fear for the cargo's safety. I'm looking for a less incompetent captain to investigate. Well, come, yeah, look no further than Storp Vader, Captain Storp Vader. I will accept your offer. At least you're confident for what for what little that's worth. Here is their last lo location. Added a quest marker to your map. Fantastic. So the quest is over there. Oh dear. I need to go to the distress. Then I need to... Wait, which... That's the distress, isn't it? Can I get there and back? I can't. I'm going to have to... Oh dear. Right. Straight to the distress. Then we're going to go across to the exit. Then we're going to go to the quest. And then we're coming back. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defence system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired upon. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Destroy the defence system from a distance. Or leave them alone. Now we can destroy it from a distance. You fire a few volleys, and it is clear the de defence system is no match for your weapons. However, the station does not seem happy with your solution. You salvage what you can and jump before there is trouble. Oh shit. Sorry guys. Well, you did ask for my help, and I did kind of help, I guess. Oh well. Look, I've got 71 scrap. I'm going to upgrade my ship a little bit. What could I do? What could I do? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm upgrading the doors, first of all. Because upgrading the doors makes it harder for enemies to get through them. Look, they're all silver now. Yeah, I'm doing that. Um... Oh shit, have I got time to go there, there and back? We're just going to have to see, aren't we? I know this is this says exit, but we can get past. You've arrived at, arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Scanners are showing intelligent life forms on a nearby planet. No match for them can be found in the database. Oh, well, we're going to investigate. You land a small shuttle in an enormous field whose only occupants are small, brightly coloured, six-legged, horse-like animals. Could they be what your scans picked up? Should we try to communicate peacefully? Bring some of the creatures on board to sell or leave? Well, I'm not a slave or trading bastard, so let's communicate peacefully. None of your attempts to communicate seem to work. They just stare at you silently. As you prepare to leave, one of the creatures canters forward. Oh, he's a little pony. Any bronies in here? Or Pegasisters? I mean, I'm neither, but, you know... It'd be interesting. And forcefully nudges you away from the ship. He what seems to want you to follow him. Eventually, the creatures guide you to an old NG ship's crash site. Inside, you are able to find and reactivate an NG. Oh my god, do I get an NG on my crew? I freaking love NGs. Uh, two fuel, one drone parts, 15 scrap as well. Yes! Graffin. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Well, Graffin can go on the shields. I know, these shields are just getting hammered. Right, you go into the med bay and sit there and look after it, and everyone else. Everyone else? Ah, oh, look at my crew! I've got five people already, and I'm not even out of the first sector. And we're going to go to a quest, and hopefully get someone else. How cool would that be? I love this game. You arrive at the last known location, last known location of the merchant's delivery. You begin to scan for the lost ship. You find the remains of the ship. It seems to have severe external damage, but you cannot pinpoint a cause. The majority of its cargo seems intact. You manage to discern the ship's intended destination. One fuel, one drone part, 22 scrap. Take the cargo and head to its original destination in search of a reward, or take the cargo for yourself. Interesting. Well, I don't want... I can't see it. I can't... I don't know how far the original destination was. Screw it. Let's be nice. Let's be nice. Oops. Wrong one. Oh my god. I'm never going to get there and back. I am never, ever going to get there and back. But what's life without a risk, huh? Oh, I shouldn't have done this. I really shouldn't. You find the station that had ordered your cargo. You drop it off and they respond, ignoring the fact that this is days late. We really appreciate that you delivered our materials. We realise how dangerous the sector is these days. Take this as a payment. 19 scrap and a defence drone Mark 1. Well, I don't have a drone system installed on my ship. 
So that is absolutely worthless. Oh, bollocks, and I can't get back there straight away. This is not good. <laughs> oh, I've run into trouble. Come on, let's get back there. Let's get back there. We can make it. A rebel ship has, be has been patrolling this region. As soon as you arrive, it begins its assault. Right, we can take this rebel ship. Rebel scum. We're gonna... Um, what's that? Missile their shields and burst laser their weapons. That's what we're gonna do. Come on, Mac. Make me the hell proud, please. Shit. Shit. Oh, damn it. Right. Get in there. Fix that. Fix the sensors. We don't want fires breaking out on our ship. Has anything happened to them? Right. Half of their weapons are offline. That's something, at least. Ah, oh, they've hit our shield system. Fix it, please. Fast. Hurry up. They offer you some of your cargo, some of their cargo, if you let them live. Except two fuel, one drone part, twelve scrap. Well, nah, because I'm about to kick your ass. See? Bam. Easy. One fuel. All oh, right. So the fuel went down because I killed them. Exploding. Uh, Twenty-two scrap though. That's not bad. All right. Get in there. Oh no, you're done. All right. Go in there. Get your health back up, please, Graffin. And Sophia, you get back into the health room. Medbay. Oh, shit. This is the exit beacon. Oh, my God. Come on. We're going to jump into the... Oh, bollocks. Look at that. All that hull. Two shields. You found the exit beacon, but Rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Continue. Right. Right. Now this is going to be completely defensive because I'm not fighting that thing. Um, I've only got five missiles anyway. Shit. We need this to charge up. Emma, I'm relying on you to get this engine charged and ready to go as soon as possible. Graffin, I'm relying on you to make sure those shields stay. Thomas, I'm relying on you to evade anything that these bastards throw at us. And Mac, Keep their freaking weapon system disabled, please. And you, you just... You, yeah, you come to the captain's quarters. Okay, right. Just, you know, I need a, I need a nice relax. A massage or something. You're an insect. I can't be flirting with insects. And you're a crew member. Oh, no, this isn't good. Ah, oh, two misses. Well done, Thomas. Good evasion there. And Mac, get that the fuck up. And you get that the fuck up. Right. Oh, no, this is awful. Um, okay, go in there, help her fix that. Mac. Ah, oh, the laser's offline. Hit that. Oh, we're going to use that as well. Sorry, but we have to. There we go. Right, that's at least one thing off. Okay, you're done in there. Uh, in fact, yeah, go and, go and help Mac just in case the weapons go down again. Okay, now we're fine. Go and, go and fix the doors, go and fix the doors. Come on, charge up, charge up, charge up. I need to jump, I need to jump, I need to jump. Come on, before he fires again. Oh, good, that's another weapon offline. Good, that's fine. Jump! Next sector, go. 